The Godox H200R round head for the 8200 flash. Let's see what this can do. So if you're watching this, you're most likely interested in the round head flash for the 8200 or you're even considering an 8200 and its options. If you don't have an 8200 yet, I suggest you watch this video first. It will tell you a little bit more about what I've been able to do with it and this video is purely about this round head and what I've managed to do with just the round head on its own, no modifiers with regards to off-camera flash with weddings. Once you've watched that video, buy the 8200 watch this and see if you think this is something you want to add to that as well. Now one of the killer features of the 8200 is its slide on slide off heads. I've got a cheap LED video light head, it comes with a standard Fresnel head or Fresnel head um, and a bare bulb as well which is quite a nice touch to have both of those in the box. Now this is an optional extra, this is the round head that you can buy, it's currently £72 in the UK or £79 in the US. As you can see up there, it's a little bit bigger than the actual Fresnel head that comes with the 8200, but pretty straightforward. And again, like all the others, you can just pop it on, click it down, and it's on. So the first thing I notice with this one is when you turn on the modeling lamp or the light just to have it as a video light, this has actually got three different settings. As you'll notice here, I can turn it on. You've got a nice light and it gets even brighter all the way up to what I would say is a usable amount of light. I'm not going to hang around chatting about this round head too much. I'm going to show you the results I've got with it and my thoughts on it at the end. I would say it's a very nice, pleasing light that you get from it. So this round head has a spiral flash tube to give it that natural and soft light look, which is something that I find to be quite pleasing. That's, that's really why you'd be buying this to use as a bare light, just for that nice soft fall off, nice and even, very pleasing to look at. I tend to do a lot of off-camera flash shots on a night time where I'm just using the light, I'm not using any modifiers or any soft boxes or anything like that and it really does give a lovely result. So before I waffle on too much, you've seen a couple of images already but here's a sequence of images that I've managed to get over the last few months. See what you think. So just over here, there is also an accessory pack. Now, I haven't used this accessory pack yet, and it's something that I don't know if I would use it that much, but you do have a couple of color filters, which 
um, held on by a magnetic plate. A few things, you've got a dome diffuser and some reflectors and bounce cards as a honeycomb and a snoot, which is all quite good. The colour filters is what got me interested, but what it comes with is very simple, very basic. But I have got some very cheap gels that you could most likely cut, stick in, bring with you, and then just put into your kit bag, ready to chuck on there if you want to produce some nice colours or anything. Uh, and play around with colour like that. So that's something I may look at in the future. And um, this is the AKR1 kit that they recommend that you buy with the round head. I haven't got around to using it. It's not really my style, but it's something that I may get into. If that is of interest and you want to see some more shots taken with some of the options on here, leave a comment below and I'll try and do another video for you in the coming months. So the H200R round head. If you have an 8200, it's a must buy. With the money you spend on the flash, it's worth spending a little bit more getting the round head and even getting the kit where you've got some more creative options you can use. I think it's especially a must buy if you don't use any soft boxes or anything for your evening or night photography like I do. Uh, definitely goes into the must buy column. Thanks again for watching. I know this is a short video, but it just gives you a little hint at what else you can do with the 8200. It's quite a popular flash unit. Um, and as I say, if you haven't got one yet, grab one of those. And if you have got one, get the round head. Thanks again for watching, I will catch you in the next one.